No doubt, these days we rely a lot on our electronic gadgets to play games. But there are times when we can't use them or want to have a break from them. That's when the good old fashioned paper and pen games can be a simple and fun alternative. Let's take a look at 10 such interesting games you enjoy playing with your family and friends. First on the list is Hollywood. It's a fun game to guess the movie name. Player 1 thinks of a movie name and writes blanks for every letter in the name. Player 2 guesses the letters in that movie name. For every wrong guess, one letter in Hollywood is crossed out. Ah, oh, he's the first wrong guess. And here comes the right one, A. Player 2 has to guess the movie before all the letters in Hollywood are crossed out. Or they lose. Do you know the movie name? Let's see if you can guess it before player two. Player two has got it! Hooray! Connect four. Yes, you can play Connect four with the paper and pen. This is the store-bought version of the game. To play it on a paper, simply draw seven lines horizontally and eight vertically to make 42 squares. Then players can choose different symbols to mark their squares. Player 1 has chosen a triangle and player 2 has chosen a circle. You can only mark your square on top of another marked square or on the bottom row. The first one to connect four squares horizontally, vertically or diagonally wins. Hey, player 1 wins! Jumble it up. Player 1 thinks of a word and jumbles up the letters. Player 2 has to find the original word. Arranging the jumbled up letters in a circle is a good technique to find the word. Make it more interesting by keeping a time limit to solve it. The word here is celebrity. Guess the thief. You'll need four plays for this role playing game. Make four poop slips. One for the king with a thousand points. One for the minister with 800 points. One for the police with 500 points and the last one for the thief with zero points. Fold the paper slips and shuffle them up. Each player picks up a slip and opens it. The player who gets the king slip reveals his role first and asks, Who's my minister? The minister acknowledges, Here I am your majesty! Now the minister has a task to guess the thief out of the remaining two. Plays with roles of thief and police have to keep their roles secret. If the guess is correct, the minister retains his 800 points. Otherwise, they're swapped with the thieves' points, so the minister gets none. Play several rounds of the game and the player with the maximum score in the end who wins. Categories Think of about four to five categories such as boy's name, girl's name, place, animal, object and write them on a piece of paper. One player chooses a letter and then all players have to write a word in each category starting with the letter. Player one picked letter G for the first round. Players take turns to pick up letters for each round. You can set a time limit for each round. Each player gets one point for every unique word they write in each category. Both players get four points in round one as they wrote a common animal name. And in round two, player two scored three points as one category was not filled. At the end of the game, the player with the most points wins. Guess the number. Two players can play this game. Player 1 secretly writes a number between 1 and 10. Player 2 guesses that number. The difference between the two is the penalty point for player 2. Player 1 wrote number 6 and player 2 guessed it as 2. So he got 4 penalty points as he was 4 points away from the original number. Then the player swapped the roles. You can play several rounds of the game and the player with the least penalty points in the end wins. 
Dots and Boxes This game starts with a grid of dots drawn on a piece of paper. Players use different coloured pens to draw lines between the dots. Player earns a point when they complete the full side of a box and they also get to take another turn when they do that. Players put their initials in the box to record the point. When all the dots are connected, the player with the most completed boxes wins. Pictionary This one is best played in two teams. Team A will secretly give one player from Team B an object name or a phrase to draw. That player then draws a picture of that object and the rest of our team will try to guess that object. If the team guessed it right, they get a point. Hooray! Team B has successfully guessed the word lemonade. And now the other team gets a turn. Tic-tac-toe, also known as noughts and crosses. Everyone has played this game. You just need to draw a grid. Two players, who one chooses crosses and the second chooses noughts. Take turns to mark the spaces in the grid. The player who marks three in a row is the winner. The row could be horizontal, vertical or diagonal. Count down. The players take turns to choose nine letters, which they'll use to construct a word. The player who finds the longest word using those letters scores a point. An extra point if you use all nine letters to make a word. From the letters chosen here, Player 1 has come up with a longer word, so she wins. Hope you've enjoyed this video and have got some ideas for some new games. This will no doubt add to the variety of list of games you can play and will hopefully cut out on your screen time. Don't forget to hit that like button if you liked the video and please subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. Enjoy playing these games! See you soon in the next one!